Windrowed crop is gathered by the low-profile pickup and flows directly to the rotary stuffer. Left-hand and right-hand augers on the rotary stuffer center the crop to the width of the bale chamber. As the crop is fed into the bottom of the open throat bale chamber, the upward-moving forming belts carry the crop into the bale chamber and down against the starting roll, forming the bale's core. While the bale is forming, four hydraulic cylinders, a.k.a. quad cylinder system, or QCS for short, pull down on the bale density and belt tension arms. As the bale continues to grow, the density and belt tension arms are pushed upward, enlarging the bale chamber. Consistent resistance provided by the QCS creates bales that are uniformly dense from the core to the outer shell with minimal horsepower requirements. Once the full bale size is reached, the baler will automatically begin the wrapping cycle. An electric actuator engages the mesh wrap system, moving the mesh feed roller into position while raising the shield that separates the steel feed roll and the forming belts, allowing the mesh to make direct contact. The forming belts pull the mesh wrap directly into the baler chamber without the use of powered rollers. When the bale has finished wrapping, the front shield is closed, cutting the mesh wrap and moving the feed roll back to the home position, ending the mesh cycle. After the bale is wrapped, the declutcher will disengage the baler drives and the tailgate will open, allowing the bale to fall out of the bale chamber. The kicker will then push the bale away from the tailgate to allow it to clear the bale. Belt tension is maintained while the tailgate is opened to ensure proper belt tracking. While the kicker holds the bale back, the tailgate is then closed and the kicker is brought back to the home position, completing the bale cycle.